Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today is the video you guys have all been waiting for and myself also to show you guys is the 28 gauge Benelli Ethos Cordoba pattern video with the molar passing choke. I've been stoked to show this to you guys, almost antsy to show it to you guys because you guys seen the last video, you seen how it patterned with the factory choke and this gun right here. Love to shoot this gun. Anyways, I'm gonna be using the passing choke today in this. I was previously shooting an improved modified. Originally, when I first started, I was shooting the factory full, and I was like, okay, this thing's like shooting golf balls, literally still at like 25 yards. So I switched the improved modified. I am shooting the heavy 12, three inch, six shot, going at 1,350 feet per second and it's a one ounce shot charge. And honestly, like this is all I've shot out of this gun. I love it. If I was gonna do some dub, I'll probably buy some still. But for waterfowl, like this is my load. Basically, you pattern with what you're gonna hunt with. I did wanna say a big thank you to everybody that's purchased the molar chokes, has used the link and got the discount. I would love to hear down in the comments below your guys' thoughts on the chokes that you've bought and how it looks on the pattern paper. For those of you that haven't heard about the discount, if you put in the code MVM2024, all caps, at checkout, you'll get 10% off. One thing that I forgot to mention before we start is I'm um, using Chase Waterfowl's pattern paper, which I love. If you wanna check them out, go to chasewaterfowl.com. I wanted to mention that, but I'm also using a range finder. So what I am gonna do that I did not do when I did the factory choke is I'm gonna shoot it at 15 yards without a choke. That's right, folks without a choke. You can do that and you will not damage your threats. If you wanna find more about that, you can check out our podcast and hear from the man himself, Jimmy Moeller. But I'm not gonna go over it in this video because I've already done it before in some of my prior ones. We're gonna do 15 yards, no choke. And that is just to make sure the barrel is good on that gun. Then I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna go to 25 and shoot four or five shells with the choke in. And then I'm gonna go to 40 yards shoot four or five with the choke in and then we'll do our averages at the end. Without further ado, if you guys have had great success with this choke and you've been using it already, give this video a thumbs up. If this video has helped you, give it a thumbs up. Let's get started. 15 yards, no choke, check in the barrel. So guys, I did a phone a friend with Jimmy Muller and I showed him what this looked like. He's considering this a 4555 pattern. That being said, I've never even patterned this shotgun. So I go, you wouldn't shim that at all. He's like, no, I'd rather you be like that than be a touch high. But let's see how this Muller choke on the passing side of it does. Now I'm gonna go to 25 yards and I'm gonna go rested and I'm gonna do four shots. All right, so I got the Muller passing choke. Hmm. Once again, shocker, didn't do anything to my threads. And also guys, I wanted to mention something. Uh, I'm not gonna give you all the details because I ain't smart enough to, but we did a podcast on this too with Jimmy Muller that's coming out soon. It's hand tighten. You don't need to crank it down. There will be a very, very small gap and that is totally fine and okay. Okay, uh, in my opinion, that still looks like I would say 45, 55 pattern. I'm gonna go to 40 yards, I'm gonna shoot five shots and see uh, what we get. So let's go ahead and move back to 40. I'll tell you this much, it looked great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count up these pellets. All right guys, finally got everything counted. Took me a little bit at 25 yards. We're looking at a 43.57, and that's as accurate as it can get. My gun is shooting a little bit low, and I'm going to talk about that more in a second. I did shim it. I'm going to redo this just to kind of show you guys the process and how it makes it better. But this is 25 yards. Regardless, this pattern is stupid. But this is a 43.57 pattern. I was okay with that. But now when I go to 40 yards, it obviously was more than that. So we'll uh, go ahead and look at our 40 yard one and then I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. But regardless, so this is an extremely exceptional, way better than that improved modified choke. Here is the 40 yards. Now, this is where you can see it's definitely heavy in the lower quadrant. So look at all this part of the pattern that's below it because it needed to be shimmed. And we seen that when we shot without a choke. It was, it's not the chokes. 
the gun actually need to be shimmed for me. But I actually can't wait to go back out. Now that I've changed the shim and go back out and shoot this. So, so uh, yeah, there's that. Remember this, and I'm going to probably do a, maybe a side-by-side -side comparison or something. But it's, got, it's shim now. Now let's go back out and reshoot. All right, I made my adjustments. I shimmed the gun. If you guys have seen all the stuff I've done in between doing that and not, and all the stuff I've read, uh, there's a lot I have to learn, let's put it that way. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not really liking what how I have to set this up to get it down, because obviously shimming it's not for point of impact, it's for gun fit, and so to get what I need, I've gotta kinda be looking down a little bit at the top of the rib. Not, not real bad, it's just not exactly what I was looking for but I'm, I'm it's comfortable and I'm fine with it it's just that mid beads kind of throw me off but I'm gonna leave it and I think this is what's gonna fix it so let's try it out and I'm gonna do three shots at 20 yards All right, there it is. That's three shots at 20 yards. It was almost too close. I maybe should have just did 25 because they were so stacked inside of each other. I don't really feel like I got a full pallet count to be honest with you because that's saying that I got 462. Those are from Staples. Everything's inside this. I mean, look, there's only three, four, three, two inside the 30 inch everything else is inside the 20 inch circle so it's just stacked in there it's it's a thing of beauty based off of what i could count obviously i'm only counting what i could count is 462 pellets it's insane it's exactly what i was looking for the shim fixed it i'm basically at a 54 over 46 pattern i really like those numbers honestly because i don't really like a 60 40. i like a 50 50 but that doesn't hurt my feelings one bit. So that's that's 20 yards. So let's go ahead and look at the 40 yard one. All right, here we go. Here is 40 yards with a 28 gauge. And it definitely brought it up. In fact, now I'm basically sitting at a 57 over 43. Pretty close to what it was at 20 yards. Beautiful pattern. As you can see here, this is five shots. So I can get an average. 133 pellet average at 40 yards with a 28 gauge, that's phenomenal. I'm pretty stoked to say the least. All right guys, that's the wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We got tons of videos, duck hunting videos, pattern videos, gear videos, all that good stuff. Been around for quite some time now. I think you'll enjoy it. Don't forget, if you were interested in picking up one of these chokes, go to molarchokes.com. I just got a quick link for you down below uh, in the description or in the first comment that I pinned in this. It'll take you right to the site. You guys can check out the H2O Waterfowl chokes or any of his other chokes for that matter. Put in the code at checkout MVM2024, get 10% off. We'll see you guys on the next one.